scene, endless pleasure in limousine, in the back shakes a tambourine, nicotine from a silver screen, speed seduction in a magazine, endless pleasure in limousine, in the back shakes a tambourine, nicotine from a silver screen, speed seduction in a magazine, endless pleasure in limousine, in the back shakes a tambourine, nicotine from a silver screen. CC. I got the little tools right here. Uh, it needs the oil change though. Uh, here's the plug right here. Um, but it does need a, a oil change. I haven't changed it since uh, since I got it. And that was back in December. So let's change the oil on this bad boy real quick. Here we go. You got it loose. Pour it now. There we go. And this one, golly, it needs an oil change. Look at all that. It's all black. It's draining. As y'all can see, it's real simple. Uh, nothing major. Uh, as you can see, there's a socket right there and i can't get can't get it to uh 11 16s but but yeah i needed an oil change well yeah it's pretty dirty let's uh let's let it drain out and we'll put the new oil here in a bit We're also gonna change the oil on the 50 cc because it needs it real bad. But right now we're having a trouble with the headlights. We can't figure out why they went out. Um, I think it's just a wiring problem. Um, but I mean the bulbs. Let me see the bulbs real quick. The bulbs don't look bad at all. But I mean both of them went out at the same time, so it's kind of it's kind of coincidence both of them went out. But I don't think it's the bulbs to be honest. It doesn't even look burnt or there's nothing uh there's nothing uh inside of it and um i plugged it into the battery but it won't turn on as well so i think it's just a wiring problem because when i wired these leds i didn't really wire them right so we're trying to figure out what's uh what's the problem how you figure it out mm -hmm. but we'll figure it out we're gonna change the oil on this one too um, all right so i'm about to put the oil and this is the oil i use uh full synthetic uh 10w40 uh super tech uh from walmart you can get it for like it used to be five dollars it went up to ten dollars i could have swore i bought this for five dollars but it went up oh shit i dropped it and uh i also use this you can get it from walmart to put the oil in it's uh, i like this one because it's stretchable uh a regular a regular oil wouldn't work because a little thing hey, is too it gets on the way but this one's real skinny i use this it's only like two bucks but um yeah i'm about to put the oil in real quick but this is what i use for my 125 cc i've been using this since i got it and it works just fine so 
let's put it on all right so we're gonna put the oil it should all drain down now we're gonna put the oil drain plug in there we're gonna screw it on first real tight i should have cleaned it but it should be all right i didn't touch no dirt or anything let me see here and it's real simple um at first when i first uh try to change the oil i couldn't find the drain plug because it was different from the 50 cc ah, that should be good right there all right it's all good let's just go ahead and clean just a little bit you know i like i like my stuff organized and cleaned and whatnot let's get a little bit off on there right there all right and as y'all can see 800 millimeters of oil you do not put the whole uh the whole bottle in there you only put 800 millimeters right there so we're gonna take this out and okay can you pass me the oil it's right there by the thing all right it should be in the toolbox everything is that the new one right uh yeah that's true all right get that old oil in there i just like myself be clean you know i like taking care of my stuff all right so now it's time for the oil <clears throat> so like i said we're gonna put only 800 millimeters in there milligrams or whatever open this bad boy up so in the bottle it should be right about right about there i can see where my finger is you can see the oil right there so we're gonna stop 800 millimeters so almost almost a full bottle but not quite so let's go ahead and pour the oil in there right quick Take that paper off real quick. It's kind of hard to do it because I'm holding the phone. There we go. So we're gonna stop at 800. Right there, that oil. All oh, that clean oil. Get in there. Where are we right now? So we're only in half a bottle. We gotta put some more oil. We're gonna stop, technically 800 millimeters. So we're gonna stop at 200. Yeah, because 800 is right here. Yeah, we're gonna stop at 200. All right, so I finished it up. I finished up putting all the oil. Just put the plug back in, screw it on, and that's it. Make sure it's tight, double check. Uh, everything's good. And look at that oil. We got fresh new oil. We're gonna go to O'Reilly's um, to change the spark plug as well. Spark plug as well. Um, and uh, once we get there, we get back at you. But we're gonna go ahead and change the 50cc oil real quick. See, I like keeping my stuff clean, man. But let's go ahead and work on the 50 cc all right so we can get ready to change the uh the oil on the 50 cc um go ahead and put the bucket underneath the drain plug I'm trying to teach my friend how to do it it's real simple there's nothing to it um i forgot where the drain plug is at you see the drain plug i forgot which which yeah, side is it right here let me see yep that's it let me see check if that's the same is that's if that sock is the same one just pour it Put you in there is it the same one does it go through pretty much yeah. okay go ahead and twist twist it twist that one no 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 the thing right here yeah okay this, this, yeah yeah this, okay go ahead and, and get it loosened up there it goes now be careful because there's a filter in there so okay. now this is loose do it with your hand is it, is it loose enough you can do it with your hand oh. Don't put it on the dirt, it's gonna get dirt. Fuck, my sister fucked up. 
Yeah, you can do it. There you go. Do what you're hearing. Now, be careful because this a drain plug is going to fall out. Is this engine oil hot, by the way? No, you haven't run it. Have you run it? Yeah, I took yeah. it over it's here. Cool. It should be cooled off by now. Okay. It's been like an hour already. Because the bottom of it is still warm. Okay, so be careful because that, that, that uh, filter is going to fall. It's just going to go in the bucket. Yeah, I know, but that's what I'm saying. You don't want to get dirty. Now that, that was going to come out real quick, so. There it goes. Get that rain plug for it. Hold on, let me get a towel real quick. Where the fuck is keep that keep that plug right there. Oh. Let me get the uh Damn that shit is black. Shit, you're right. Just put that right here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Clean it, clean it with that. Clean it. Yeah. Go ahead and clean it. Let it drain. Dang, you brother had any oil, dude. Look at that shit. You thought you said you had oil. Look at that. That's something I checked there, boy. Dude, you barely have any oil. Look at mine compared to yours. Damn. Here it is, the towel. There it goes right there. So it's draining yeah, right now. Last time, yeah, I checked it. It was still full right there. I mean, it has it all, but you needed some more. What I used to do, or I like to do, I like to clean the filter. So go ahead and clean the filter. Um, of the oil, of the old oil. That's what I mean. You don't have to do that, but that's what I did. Just to, you know, just to stay clean, and just a drain plug, and you know, just clean the drain plug out, clean all that oil. Right there. Mm -hmm. That shit was dirty. Yeah. How long does it take for they get dirty? The oil, the oil will just. Get well, dirty it just depends quick. how much you roll. You rolled the hell out of it, so <laughs> pretty much a while. I do. I mean, that's the only thing I got. All right, so just put it back in there. Put put that in there. No, this goes like that. that. This one goes mm -hmm. like that, and then it goes inside of there. Yeah, there you mm -hmm. go, like that. Just pour it inside, and with your hand, get it tight, and then use the wrench to tighten it up. Get it straight, though. Oh. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, push it in. Damn. Push it in and twist it towards you. Push it in all the way. And then just push it like you have to push it in real hard and then twist it towards you. There you go, like that, yeah. There you go. In an awkward position. So, let me see how much you got in there. Hold on, hold on. I think it should be enough. Last time I asked for the other half. Okay, make sure, there's, make sure there's no water. Is, is that oil? <laughs> or is it water? That should be enough. Yeah, that should be enough. Because I used from when we first bought it all the way down to there. Yeah, that should be enough. And we'll pour a little bit. Really, uh, on the 50 cc's, I'm not sure. I used to just put like 800 as well. And we're all fine. Maybe that's why it's like not really getting top end, but. Hmm. We'll put, we'll put all of, go ahead and put all of this and we'll put a little bit of this. Go ahead and put all of it. There you go. Cause it, it really didn't have no oil at all, so. There you go. And put just a little bit of this. Stop at the, stop at that 200. Two hundred right here. Stop at the two hundred. Yeah. That was fine. Stop at the two hundred. So we finished washed it. Brain spanky new. We brought it back to life. Look at that. Back to life. We hadn't even all at the armor all yet. But it's back to life. We about to go to O'Reilly's and uh, change the spark plugs. So once we get back, over, once we get over there, we'll let you know. Um, how to change it and stuff, but yeah, we're cleaning up our bikes today. That's what we're doing. Just cleaning it up real quick. We're about to go to O'Reilly's though.